r slash no sleep posted by you slash match new 466 if you see this game on any store do not under any circumstances play it there is a game a game what can appear on every phone or any store this game is called nights of fear now hear me out one night out of boredom i looked for a game to play on my phone as i fly through the store page on google play i find this game it immediately catched my interest the way the start page looked it looked like a perfect free horror game and as a big horror fan i looked into it the first strange thing i noticed were the reviews there were none not a single review in every language and it wasn't some early ox say no this game was published a year ago at that time well i didn't think much about it and i just thought i'll go into it the description said that i had to hide from the devils nothing more just that sentence they really were anonymous after finally installing the game I tried to open it but instead a message appeared in the middle of my phone. Fear the nights, it said and I couldn't close it no matter what I tried until it finally, after some minutes, disappeared on its own. Now this really freaked me out. I haven't authorized anything for this game. It shouldn't be able to make such a message on my phone without any authority from me. After that, my first decision was definitely to look this game up. Now you gotta believe me, I have searched for this game for 2 hours and still, not a single information about anything from this game. The makers must have deleted everything about it and I don't know why the F. CK they would do that. Some more researching in the game info which was mostly empty later, I decided to start it hoping for no message this time. With shaking fingers I clicked on the game icon and this time, luckily, no message appeared. The start menu was mostly black with only two buttons. Play and QUIT, which out of some reason didn't work. Well that didn't matter probably just a bug I thought. As I click the play button a sudden loud scream scares the frick out of me. I'm glad it just came from the phone. Or did it? Now at that moment, sounds started playing. Not from the phone but from outside of my room. Footsteps and breathing. Now I live alone in a small house at the edge of town so that wasn't anybody I know. The footsteps stopped right at my door and I could hear the awful breathing behind the door. That wasn't human, definitely not. The phone screen was pitch black. I couldn't close the game anyhow or even just shut down my phone. No matter what I tried I still had the game open. My tries to close the game got me so focused on the phone that I haven't noticed the breathing stopping. I turned to look at the door as the room lights turn off completely. I was too scared to go near the door for the light switch so I started to look for something to defend myself. All I found were scissors, the rest was just my PC, my bed and some pens and I didn't have any more time to look since the doorknob slowly got pushed down. What do I do? I thought completely scared. I decided to hide in my closet where I barely fit in. And just in time, the door opens as my closet door closes. I couldn't see enough so I only heard the awful breathing of this unknown creature. Whatever it was, I had to get away from it. This thing walked around my room, looking for me until it stopped. Right in front of me. My heart was pounding faster than ever and the fear shivered down my body. Now even the breathing stopped and all I could hear were the howling wolves in the distance and the few crows screaming in the trees. I held my breath for so long as that thing just stood there. That black creature looking right into my eyes with this demonic huge smile and these stretched out wide eyes. That look had traumatized me the rest of my life. As I almost gave up holding my breath that thing finally walked away. I waited a bit until the door closed. I could finally breathe. I open the closet full of relief and catch the red light at the back of my eye coming from the phone. I turn to look and see something what had absolutely terrified me. In bloody red color on the phone there was a message. Behind you. My body freezed as shivers went down my spine. And there I heard it. The same breathing, the same awful smell. I heard something stretching. I didn't know what I was but it didn't take long for me to know what that stretching sound was. This thing had stretched its neck and looked right at me from above head turned and the smile was even more terrifying. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. It started to open its enormous mouth and I knew this was my end. With the mouth now big enough to rip my head of it started screeching as it slowly put its mouth all around my head. And at last. My head was gone. I thought it was over. I thought I'll be dead but no. I wake up, right on the floor of my room at the morning. My head was back on my body and nothing, no clue of this thing being here. All the lights were on and the game on my phone was closed. Confused I try to stand up. Through sleeping on the floor my back hurt pretty strong and it was tough to stand up. My first and only thought at that moment was to deinstall the game. I grabbed my phone, went to the game icon and clicked on deinstall. 
Some waiting later it was gone. Deinstalled. That was too easy I thought but as it seems, all the game files were deleted and the game just deed appeared from the store. No trace in the downloads or anything. Some weeks passed and I started to feel a bit better and I sometimes started to sleep a bit. I thought I'll never hear of that game ever again until, one night. My phone started vibrating. Heavy strong vibrations which woke me up from my sleep. Half sleeping I walked to my table and looked at my phone. That one look at the phone was enough to fully wake me up scared and shocked. He is coming. I knew exactly what it meant by he and I didn't even think about how the game came back even when I deinstalled it. I had no clue of what to do and the footsteps were already terrible behind the door. I couldn't hide again. Somehow, I knew it would find me. My first idea was to defend myself but it was clear that I don't have a chance against it. So I decided to run the moment the door was opened. I slowly walked to the door, ready to run. There it is. The door slowly opens. I push the door wide open and run, straight down the stairs. But this thing didn't wait just a second and ran right behind me. I had to get out of the house, now. I open the door to the outside but all I see is a long long hallway. From the look it seemed like 500 meters. No time to think, I ran straight down the hallway. That thing was screeching behind me so loud I couldn't stand it. But I had to so I somehow tried to ignore it and not gonna lie, it worked. One quick look behind me gave me the biggest adrenaline rush I ever had in my entire life. The thing was crawling on the walls with its forearms and legs like a demonic spider. Its long neck made it even scarier. After a while I saw the end of the hallway with a door in the middle. I opened the door and immediately closed it behind me. I could hear it screaming and banging on the walls. Finally, my freedom, I did it. But there was one problem. What now? I didn't have any idea where to go. If I go back into my house, it would definitely kill me and it wouldn't be a dream this time. My friends were out of town and my family lived far away. Then I remembered, there was a hotel pretty near to my home. I got my phone out of my pocket with confusion of when I put it in my pocket but that wasn't important. I book a free room and luckily, there was one ready immediately. Five minutes of walking later I finally arrive at the hotel. I grab the keys for my room, get to the room and open the door. I must say, it was beautiful. Everything polished and cleaned. All I wanted now was just to lay in my bed and do nothing. And that's what I do. I fall on my bed like a hard worker coming home at the evening. Some time has passed and I couldn't sleep. Every time I tried to close my eyes I saw that face again. That terrifying smile. These big wide eyes. I couldn't get them out of my head no matter what I tried. Later in that night I turn around on my bed to the door side which is when my body completely freezes of fear. The door was opened and guess what peeked around the corner with its terrifying huge neck. That's right. The thing. It didn't come in or attack me anyhow. All it did was stare at me for about 10 minutes until it disappeared around the corner and the door closed. After that, I never heard or seen it ever again. That was now 11 years ago. I have never entered my house ever again. I live with one of my friends and just told him that my house has some problems and believe it or not, he bought it. He never really asked about it and in these 11 years he's like my brother. Now after these 11 years I am finally ready to share this information with all of you so I tell you the moral of this story. If you see this game, do not, under any circumstances, download it. Cause we all know, that you won't make it out alive.